Welcome back to Witcher 3. This is part 11. So we are still at this location where we left off last time. So in our last quest, we were helping a Baron to find his family and we were bedding a bachelor, which we need to wake and hopefully it will summon Lubekin. I don't know how to say that. So what I did since last episode, I just went back and sharpened my sword because it was like 40%. And I came back here, so let's wait and see what happens. By blood's power I summon you. With your name I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. It looks scary when it's close. What's that you're muttering? Wonder if they can see him. Probably not. Sitting in my face. So rude. If it don't stop raining, my arse will rot off back to the cross. Oh, no, no, no. Can we just run? Yeah, let's run. No time to play with you guys. Gerald is like putting his fist up that he wants to fight. Oh, where are you going? Ugh, sure wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around though. Hey. Okay. Is something here? Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Clothing. They change in here. Both were here. I'm going the right way. Hey, okay, lead us. Wants to show me something more. Oh, come on. Go, go, go. No, 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 no. Keep running. I don't know if you'll wait or not. There is no no time, no time, no time, no time. Go running. No, General, go. If we have to. Necrophage has had a field day. Still worth a closer look. Examine that horse carcass. 
But I do have to kill them. Oh my god. Oh my god, just kill him. Oh, go, go, go. Man. Are we done? I do hope so. I can still hear them. Just need to heal a little bit. Oh, there is one more there. Go, 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 go. My god, how many? No, 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 Nasty stuff. Okay, I hope that's everything. There's something here, I don't want to go near it. Just trying to get my health up before he starts running again. Let's eat some chicken legs. Oh, I'm out of all of the potions. Maybe egg. Not spitting up the herring. Hopefully we'll be okay. Okay, come on. We can go. Oh, I need to examine. What do we have here? Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Okay, let's go. No more stopping. Oh, no, 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 no. Just in case. Let's try to run. No, Gerald. Keep running. Out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about twenty. 
Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy! I want to help that woman. She could be in danger. Young and see no one, my lord. He's a kitty. Must have dreamt it. I want to hear this dream then. So, kid, who did you see? Who came here? Pappy brought her at night. The lady does the medicines. She was all afeard. Talked about an awful monster. Said she had to go back. Don't know where to. Mummy and Pappy cheered her up. Gave her clothes. Hers were ragged. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir. But you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Were like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. The cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had arisen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose, thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. But then I saw it, fiery marks on her hands. Fine, what happened next? grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. The beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. By the debt, owed Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara alerted it, brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come, a time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron on the palms inside. Burned like a cattle brand? Aye, though no, these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing as if they burned with raw fire. Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. Okay, this big family. This small hut. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Okay, we are level 6, and we got one point, let's spend it. Oh, 
So what we can use next? Let's use one of these. Oh, we can. We can, yeah. So we need to go back to Baron, I think. Okay, let's go back. Trees. It is much more scary when it's storm and dark. No, oh. hold on. Let's see what that man wants. Halt! Stand in Jew! I challenge you! Boots a bit big, maybe. Careful not to trip. Halt, I say. I am Ronvid of the Small Marsh, bound by a sacred oath. Oh, that's rough. My sympathies. To honor made Bilbury, fairest of all maids I know, by dueling a hundred knights to the death. Now, draw your sword post haste, for I have knights in hand left after you. Why are you challenging me? Don't recall doing anything to offend the maid Bilberry. Well... Why... Um... Then swear. Swear! Maid Bilberry's the most loveliest of all. Thing is, I've never laid eyes on her. Aha! Ah! I shall wash your scorn away with thy blood fiend! Stand and fight! Let's dance. <laughs> You know, I yield. Had enough? Yes, luck stood with you. But, but the next time we meet. Go back to mate Bilberry and apologize for being an ass. Quick, before I change my mind and break your bones. We shall meet again. Oh, that was strange. Move it. I mean, there was no witnesses for him, even if he won. Oh no. Let's go quickly, Gerald. No stopping. No. Oh. Come on. Oh, we're going the wrong way. Get too excited. Okay, let's leave you here. With the guards, they will keep an eye. I on you. And uh, let's run. Oh, look at the sun. So pretty. Time to water the horses. Okay, yeah, you can water the horse. It's outside. Gate is open. Go up the hill. Oh, is there anything new here? Let's look. Okay. Oops, sorry. Oh, dog. Can we pet you? Yeah? No? Oh, 
I cannot pet him. Okay, never mind. Remember me. Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here. I'm grateful. Well, that was nice gesture. Yeah, where is the baron? Witcher, a word, please. What is it? That night when the baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the baron do? Gotta ask the baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is. Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sits. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, are called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Your loss. It must hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier. Taken them all from this damned villain. In this hole. This reesty mire. Nothing could go right here. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? She all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this. Call it enticement. And this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours. Pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living? Seri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? Mm. 
A little here, a little there. Not surprising, given you wander the world alone. Not alone no more. She's in the company now. That's right. You're a member of the company. We're drinking together, killed a wild boar as a pack, you might say. But we've no notion how you arrived here. A woman in a man's garb, razor on her back. Who exactly are you? You a mercenary? I just travel a lot. And I don't always happen upon such good and civil company. Ah, gift of the gap she's got. Here's to good company. This I like. Drinks like a lad, knows her sword work, kills a boar as if it were a piglet. A she-wolf! If ever I've seen one. All right, all right. A woman could swing a sword. I've knowed one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. Well, that's an awfully gloomy face. Too much of a coward to race a woman. The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. We start at daybreak. Oh, man. I don't think that'll end well. <laughs> We're gonna lose this world. Usually me and horse are not very good at galloping. But let's try. Hopefully to leave our sword. Ready? As ever. Oh no. First one to the tower. Man chop! Come on, silly! Don't you embarrass us! Hey. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Want that horse, don't ya? Had one just like it. Oh no, I went the wrong way. Oh. Come on, come on. Go. Trying to look at the map, which way to go. But he's out of stamina. Is there anything to give you stamina? Oh... I'm gonna go over... Oh no, 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 no! Come on, come on, come on! Oh! We won! I'm shocked. You're wind, not woman! Worthy of the best horse! The mare is yours! Thank you! What? Oh my god. Are they fighting Griffin? She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher. Seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna, too. Can't help wondering why you made a deal with the Nilfgaardians. What could I do? Cast myself at them and die a hero. Fuck a hero's death. Fuck death. Rather live as a traitor. Ere long, none will remember it. 
Temeria is no more. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilfgaardian garrison doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut them down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land, take control before long. Sure as we've all got our souls, they will. How'd you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Temerian soldier. More units smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home? With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled, abandoned the Perch. Once this war's over and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed baron will cease. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folk see witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. Ever play Gwent? I do. And what's more, I usually win. If you've a deck, sit down. Outplay me, and I'll give you one of my unique cards. How's that for enticement? Yeah. Let's play. Let's lay him down. Yeah, let's swap. Hmm. Let's swap this one. Oh no. That's same. Right. So that. <laughs> okay, that's better. I have kept that frost. Yeah, let's use those two. Oh, sneaky man. Is it going to pass? Just collecting cards now. We got so many of them. There's no way I can win this. That one. Finally he passed. So I'm running out of cards. Oh, they could have given me something better. Still got eight cards. Let's 
let's use the leader card. Still not enough. No way we can win this. I think my card, right? Yeah, we lost. You're not complete shite, but you really should work on your technique. Stop by again sometime, we'll play another round. Okay, we will do that. So where do we have to go? Get all the way here. Should we go there and... Is there anything close here? We can go to this one here. And just travel across. So let's do that. Okay, we'll see you later. And we play again. Let me get out here. Find my daughter. Will he give her this? A rag doll. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go. is coming up. What did I do to deserve your company? Uh, let's see if we can use this post here and fast travel. The closest one we can go is here. Steady side. Let's get out. Should we go across? Come on. I think this is only game where wolf sounds so scary. Oh, I think it's stuck on tree. We still have to go see which monster nest as well. Eh. Stop turning around. How do we get that cross? Is there like a bridge or something? Ok, 
Okay, we can cross here. Let's put the marker here. Go, go. No, 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 no. Don't stop. You're scaring road. People. Halt! No passage. Case of the plague surface in the city or something. The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's in order, so I don't. Unless someone's got a pass. This what you mean? Let me look at that. Mm -hmm. uh, missing a seal, the red one. Impossible. Department of Civil Defense forgot again. They're really off their heads these days. It happens, so be it. You may come through. Come through. I forgot my horse. Excuse me. Excuse me. Watch your step. Watch your step. I feel like watch your step. Come through. Come on, Roach. Let's get into city. That's it, Roach. I think what I'm going to do, I'm gonna finish this part here at this bridge and we will continue next time. So thank you for watching. Hope you liked the video and please hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Take care.